This story is about SQL optimization, and it started with a question that Brittany and Claire asked on Twitter. How to implement a decay function in SQL? Then Ben replied with one of the best answers using window functions. And TJ brought it into Snowflake and wrote a great explanation on why window functions scale better than joints. And then I wanted to join the fun with a different solution using tabular UDFs, which have a lot of advantages for situations like this. With a tabular UDF, you can write custom code that can analyze a table row by row while preserving state. That's how I wrote this tabular UDF in JavaScript that uses a low amount of memory to keep track of the decaying values. And I was able to run it in 36 seconds instead of the 46 seconds that the SQL with Windows solutions took. That's 10 seconds less. But 36 seconds is still a lot. And it turns out I could bring it down to 9 seconds just by optimizing the JavaScript code. Check my post to see how. The details are super interesting, but the biggest insight I want to share with you today is the power that tabular UDFs can bring to your world. Find me on social media so we can go deeper into these topics. I'm Felipe Hoffa, and this was a Snowflake Night.